This is Mimo coding up. Let's have a little challenge. Give the web page the biggest heading. It is H1. And the next question is what is wrong with this web page? The paragraph tags are not assembled correctly. The header element is incorrect. There is no opening HTML tag. Look at this carefully. There is no opening HTML tags. And also the next question is that we are correct. Which what is what's wrong with this emphasized tax? I think the answer should be there is a slash sign in the opening tax. Code the opening tag define the text as important. We can use either strong or we can use B that is bold. If you have been trying to find one of the best and mind-blowing programming app that will lead you to learn coding, I guess you are in the right place. In this video, we will explore Memo Coding App, an exceptional platform that offers a courses on SLQ, Python, web development and much more. So without being said, let's get to the video. So in the last video, we have talked about two best coding applications that is SoloLearn and Programming Hero. You can check them out, link in the video description. Today, we are deeper into the world of coding education with Memo Coding App. So if you are new here, don't forget to subscribe and also turn on the notification bell so that by the time we release the video, you will be the first one to get notice. And the first one is user-friendly learning. Memo Shine, which is user-friendly lesson and crystal clear explanation. Whether you are a new to coding or experienced developer, Memo's got you cover, so it's the best for user-friendly. And the second one is practical example. Learning by coding is the key. And Memo understand that it's provide a practical coding example that help you enforce your understanding. So if you want to be ahead of 99% of programmers to practice more coding language, you can choose Memo to practice more coding. And the next one is coding playground. One of the Memo's coolest features is built in coding playground. You can experience with code and run it is right within the app. Making learning hands-on and interactive. Let me say it has a mobile code editor. So you can create a code, run a code and edit your code as easy as a simple. So, and the next one is certificates program. Memo offer a certificate upon a course compilation, a fantastic way to showcase your newly acquired skills. But keep in mind, some certificates may come with a course. So sometimes you have to um, join BIP, let me see, um, plans in order to achieve full experiments, to get full experiments on Memo. So sometimes you may get a discount 50, 50%, 90%, 80% is defined on. But in order to get full experiments, you need to have a BIP, let me say, pro version of Memo Lane. And the next one is Explore SLQ. So let me see SLQ. Are you ready to debug? Are you ready to dip into the world of SLQ? Memo got you cover. Learn everything from database creation to query to query and data manipulation. So if you are interested in specifically in SLQ, so I highly recommend you to choose a memo to learn SLQ as your progress. And the next one is explore Python. That seems to be very interesting. So if you are really interested in learning Python, you are in the right place. So you have to enjoy. Memo provides an excellent pathway to explore this versatile language known for its simplicity and power. So if you have a passion on Python to study Python, I highly recommend you to choose Memo coding app to learn Python step by step and easy user friendly explain. And the next feature is explore web development. Let me see. This is our part. Web development, it is in your finger pits with Memo. Build user interface, understand the web page structures, and start creating actual website. So if you actually want to learn the fundamental of web development, the structure of web pages, how to style them, and front end and back end, you can choose a Memo coding app in order to learn the fundamental full stack of web development. So I highly recommend you to choose this app because it's one of the best cool apps. And the next one is Explore JavaScript. JavaScript lovers, this one's for you. Memo lets you dip into the dynamic languages, perfect for your web pages manipulation and web application development. If you want to master the JavaScript, as it is one of the most popular languages around the world, you can choose Memo in order to learn the JavaScript. And the next features in the app is leaderboard options. So if you want to be a competitive programmer, you want to be ahead of some programmers, you can join Memo leaderboard in order to learn ahead of others, to practice and 
be competitive and the next one is community section so you can ask a questions related questions see other people questions and see what people are doing on their coding journey to see um so now let's talk about how to use memo coding app step by step firstly download the app in the play store or you can check link in the video description to download and install the app then open the app for the first time you have an option to choose the course you want to study for me, I choose web development. Under web development, as you can see here, we can see JavaScript, CSS, and a lot of topics under web development. You can choose them step by step. Let's start with HTML basic number one. By tapping on play, then start HTML basic one. Then we will solve some little code challenges, HTML challenge I and you. Then how many paragraphs with this web page has? Look at it carefully. It has two hidden under, under H1. That is a paragraph and we are called it. And the next question is that and add a missing closing tax all you have to do is start to tap on greater than let me see greater than slash body we have to add it in order to complete the grammar add the right snippets to make the heading as you can see here according to h1 it has more priority than h3 as you can see h1 h2 h3 and we are correct as you can see it here that is carefully so with memo it will help you to learn fundamental of html CSS, and javascript easy and simple and the next question is as you can see here this is how it will be video game console the next question is give the web page the biggest heading all we have to do is to tap is h1 that is the biggest heading and we are correct and the next thing what's wrong with these web pages if you look carefully there is no of any html tag because all of them are closing html tag and the answer will be the third one that is there is no HTML tag. As you can see it here, we are 100% correct. So we are going to the next question that is, what is wrong with this emphasize tag? Look at this carefully, EM that is emphasize. There is a slash in the offending tag, which is incorrect. And also code the offending tags that define the world as important, the text as important. So here we can use strong or we can use bold and it is correct that's all about the feature you can do it step by step to follow javascript SLQ, or python in order to learn them step by step and in the leaderboard if you want to be a competitor you can join memo leaderboard to be to learn more to practice more to be ahead of others as you can see here you can follow and share them and in the community if you want to ask a specific question you want to see other people coding tutorial you can search specifically for example login form responsive navigation bar you can even watch a video which is simple as easy as i found that that is the community it's like open source community you can search you can see you can even post your own and in the certificate as you can see when you tap on profile you can see certificate of web development python slq and javascript it has been offered and additionally you can invite someone you can invite everyone in order to gain biv that is memo the version of in order to have full experiments in memo just inviting someone if I type on setting, for example, I will just have to edit my name, as you can see here, Mrs. Matrix, and also I will change the appearance of that dark mode or light mode. It is different. And also you can change the app icon. That is app icon, default icon. You can change Ukraine, Kermis, Vitamin Batman, Ninja, and if you start on Proud, you have to pay on BIF in order to use that. So it kind of have customization settings. It's clear and user friendly. And when it comes to playground, you can create a playground by creating either Python playground, JavaScript, or snippet HTML that is web development. And it will provide you with a baller plate that comes here that will link your CSS and JavaScript. And for example, in the body, I'm mean, right paragraph. Let me see, I will have to write a love memo in my paragraph. And it will be simple as that. We can run it and we can play it within the memo. And the downside of it is you must use data connection. So I have a video for you if you want to you have a data connection. There's a video I make offline. It's called Programming Hero. You can check it there or link in the video description. You can do it offline without needing data connection. But this memo, it requires data connection. And when I go into style, I may add a body. I want to style then to orange, background color to orange. And a text color, I want it to be white. That is a hash FFF. So the kind of things I want to write it here. So I love this code editor of this um memo coding bit but downside is only offline online and if i tap around as you can see here i love memo so look at this carefully and you can go to stylish let me say cheat sheets let me say code library to search a specific border weight height and other necessarily related to web document python slq and javascript it is by the code library where you can search specific word and understand it it's making simple and easy for that so i think that's all 
In conclusion, Memo is a treasure tool for those eager to learn SLQ, Python, or web development. It is user-friendly interface, practical example, and code playground make it a top choice for aspiring developers. Thank you for tuning in. If you are ready to embark on your coding journey, don't forget to like, subscribe for more tech insights. I have a lot of videos like this. Be sure to check them out and in the next video, we will talk about programming hoop and also we will talk about the inch. So see you next class. Happy coding with Memo. Bye.